Hey, hi there, I'm Patrick for Who Has Sports here on Fans Life Edition as the Premier League gets back into action this week after the international break. I'm here at the Tropica Cafe together with the Liverpool fans uh, for the first time this season. Of course, it's exciting times. Liverpool are getting a little closer to me. I don't know why, but they're nice people. Uh, they've got some exciting things happening. Uh, Raul Maradash has left the club, but they've got in Craig Bellamy an old boy. But tonight, they're playing against Stoke against an old boy, Peter Crouch. What's going to happen? We'll find out with the rest of the fans during half time to see what's their reaction all about but here's the first half with the Liverpool fans at Tropica Cafe. <laughs> Right, it's 15 minutes into the game between Stoke and Liverpool. It's a nice fiery start to it. We've got a couple of tweets uh, from the tweet deck. First one is from Joe and Joe says he likes the pace of the game and he likes what red, the Reds are playing right now. Whereas uh, Michelle says that uh, she doesn't really hate Peter Crouch, even though he's not a Red anymore. But he does. she does miss his robot dance. Maybe she should uh, start liking Spurs' very own supporter peeps. Well, it's uh, just a 15 minute update. It's still nil-nil between Stoke and Liverpool. We'll come back in about 15 minutes, 15 minutes time to see how the game is progressing together with Liverpool fans here. Disappointment, disappointment because it's just about 20 minutes into the game and uh, Jamie Carragher has somewhat been uh, given a penalty to Stoke as you can hear from the dismay and the looks from the Liverpool fans as they all watch the replay he had his arm over the waist of Walters and it looks like a clear penalty no dispute there so Stoke have the opportunity to go ahead to the lead very silent here at Tropica Corner yes it's halftime under the wings of the Liverbird it's uh, sadly uh, nil to Liverpool one to Stoke City a little difficult for Liverpool because they're playing with one man up just Luis Suarez he probably is missing Raul Morales we'll find out with the Liverpool fans during a halftime report right here at Tropica Cafe under the Liverbird wings Right, it's our halftime report here together with the Liverpool fans at Tropica Cafe. I have Ashran, Kenneth and also Shariza. Unfortunately, they are down by one goal to Stoke City. Not an easy team to play at the Britannia, but uh, let's find out from uh, uh, Shariza here that uh, Prasan Anda, first half minute performance. Uh, very bad. Uh. Uh, finishing Torres, uh, Suarez tak perform bagus. Tapi pun uh, Benton dia uh, defend stop jadi jadi tight ah uh. sangat tembus sama sangat defend turun eh, satu tengah pun kurang hantar bagus bola kat apa uh, Suarez okay so as the people are walking in and out during half time trying to refresh themselves let's like Asran Asran formasi yang Luis Suarez main lone striker nampak tak berkesan kan sepatutnya Andy Carroll boleh dimasukkan lah second half ni untuk apa winning ball winning the second ball lah so they feed to the Carroll and then hopefully they can uh, Suarez can win the second ball and then we hope the magician will produce something lah. Suarez the magician will produce something lah. But but he looks like he's missing Raul Morales by his side feeding him the ball right Suarez. Uh, yeah because um, Adam is not playing really well today. So yeah yeah nobody nobody feeds him the ball nobody pass to him. We need someone who has pace like like Bellamy. We need some we need Bellamy to come in to have pace because Suarez has speed and skill plus the pace of Bellamy we can we can actually make something up and score a goal. So think, uh, looking at what Kenneth said again, so Bellamy could be coming in second half, but then he needs a second striker. So can Andy Carroll make the difference with uh, together with Suarez and then Fe Bellamy feeding the ball? 
Yes, I, I believe it. So uh, maybe Carol, maybe five last minute, maybe you can tukar dengan Suarez lah. Okay. Tapi setakat ni, uh, kena better Bellamy lah masuk. Okay, okay. Two strikers. But I think the three strikers are too many. Maybe we need two and then we we need more on the midfield because uh, from the what we see in the first half, Stoke really playing on the on the counter attack. And then we lost the ball for the penalty for also in the counter attack. So we need more men in midfield. It's a bit it's a bit it's a bit disappointing to see because we're actually dominating in the first ten minutes and we let and we had one stupid penalty. It's a bit it's a bit sad. It's a bit sad. Yes. Yeah, and also the fact that uh, Liverpool still unbeaten. And uh, from what we know, at half time, Chelsea are in the lead, and also Man City are in the lead. So you need to keep pace with them. What do you think? Something is going to change in the second half. Can they get a goal? Can they get the win? Can win two one. Two one. Yes, we can do it because we know King Kenny and King Kenny we trust, and King Kenny will tell them something, and they will score a goal. <laughs> so we'll find out what happens together with the Liverpool fans here at Tropica Cafe, and hopefully they score a goal because uh, we've been covering fans' life for uh, five episodes now in the first four games, and all the teams that we went to haven't actually won a game. So we hopefully we can turn the tide here with the Liverpool fans, and hopefully they'll bring all of us some good luck this season. So back to the Liverpool fans for the second half. Thanks, guys. All right. It's but uh, the 60th minute, just 15 minutes into the second half, it's still Stoke 1, Liverpool nil, And uh, I had to sit down because the Liverpool was just getting all over me. You know, what to do, Spurs fan, we are, we're just likeable. But uh, just looking at some tweets, we've got a Glenn who says that with the amount of money spent, Charlie Adam has yet to complete a pass while the other two have done very little. And Ida says that if Liverpool lose today, she's going to be very disappointed. And so would the rest of the bunch over here. But we'll see how the game progresses because Liverpool are on the ascendancy with a couple of changes they made in the second half. It's getting exciting, it's getting exciting, but they're not completing their passes. We'll see what happens with the Liverpool fans as the game progresses in the second half. It's still Stoke 1, Liverpool nil. The guy who missed the chance in front of goal, Jordan Henderson, is being replaced by old boy returning to, uh, to the Liverpool side, Craig Bellamy. And of course also it's a double substitution with Andy Carroll walking into the pitch without a glass of beer in his hand. But we'll find out what happens with these two substitutions in the second half. That's as close as Luis Suarez is going to come today. It could have been the equaliser, but just about way off the post. Way off the post. Right, we're just five minutes to go. Well, this is not a new style. I'm just holding up the flag so it doesn't get my face. Uh, it's becoming a very, very nervy ending. Liverpool's passing today is just... I don't know what to say. It's bad. It's really bad. Got a couple of tweets here. Hugh Wilson on the F, uh, SCFC uh, tweet page says that uh, Liverpool are piling on the pressure and it's just a couple of more minutes to go. Well, uh, the Welsh Viking under the name Alistair says that uh, he pretty much did see only one Stoke player in the Liverpool half while the other 10 were defending. While Salim says, uh, I really don't know because I don't read Arabic. But as you can see, it's getting very, very uh, tenacious here with the Liverpool fans. Can they get an equaliser? They are piling on the pressure. We'll find out in the next five minutes. And that's it. As I hide behind the whale of the Liverbird, it's uh, Stoke 1, Liverpool nil on a night where the passing just wasn't great by LFC. We'll speak to some of the guys and find out their reaction to all those missed chances and what's installed for Liverpool next when we come back here on Fans Life. Right, it's our full-time report together with the Liverpool fans here at Tropica Cafe. As they would say, it's not a good day at the office going down to Stoke 1-0. I'm here with uh, Mok, Nafik and 
and also Awal. Uh, we'll start with Awal. Awal, perasaan anda tentang uh, performance Liverpool pada hari ini? Ya? Hari ini amat menduka cita kan lah, untuk Liverpool. Ya. Uh, sebab dia punya uh, permainan tak... Tak sampai level dia lah. Nah. Ah. Ah, Nafiq, I mean, looking at it, right, the passing just weren't there today. The passing is okay, tapi stuck. The main park the bus. Susah nak tembus. Memang susah. Jadi, Mok, ada orang tweet yang uh, duit yang apa tu, Kenny Daglish belanja kan untuk bawa Jordan Henderson dengan Charlie Adam memang tak berkesan. Dan mereka memang tak bubur game yang baik hari ni. Oh, tapi mungkin orang boleh uh, bagi latihan lagi lepas ni so next game sebab sebelum ni kita tengok game pada Bolton dia main dengan agak baik cuma kali ni mungkin tak ada luck pada Liverpool so next game maybe they can try the best but Stoke has always been the bogey team for Liverpool when you play at the uh, Stoke Stadium in Britannia yeah I think so how well mm -hmm. So it's tough lah. So what do you think Liverpool will will learn from this game? Where, where do you think? Do you think it's better to play Suarez instead of a sole striker as two strikers and Bellamy in the game as well? Depends on the... I think we control the game. Position, possession we have. But like I say, they park the bus. So it's very, very difficult for us to get the ball inside the net. So it's tough. How how disappointing apa uh, kecewa anda bila tengok Jordan Henderson miss open open chance uh, Stuart Downing miss a header dengan Luis Suarez last last minute dia boleh score kan tu Ah uh, rasa dia kena tukar ni dah I rasa dia kena tukar oh, Good dia kot dah ha <laughs> ah, tactical ke atau apa macam nilah saya pun tak tahu macam mana juga So as you can see, nothing much to say from Liverpool fans. It's very, very disappointing. But of course, it's still early part of the season. One loss doesn't mean anything. So we wish them all the best. Next game is going to be pretty good. So a big thank you to all the Liverpool fans here at Tropica Cafe and the Tropica Cafe as well. Until we catch up with you the next time on Fans Live.